Hey loves, it's Belinda and today I want to show you a Valentine's Day look and we are going to do our makeup, our hair, and an outfit. And also make sure that you stick around to the very end because there's going to be a huge giveaway. Yay, so let's get started. So after we are all squeaky clean and moisturized, I'm going to start doing my makeup. And I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer and this one is by Benefit. I absolutely love this thing. It's probably the best one I have ever found. We are going to put it on the top of our eyes and also you want to put it on the bottom of your eyes too. And I'm going to use this Maybelline Tattoo, color tattoo, and it is called Best of the Bronze. I'm just going to apply it all over my lid and just a little bit above my crease line on my lid. And then using this gorgeous color, it's called Honey Lust by MAC. It is very, very uh, pigmented and also it kind of falls everywhere. That's why I like to pet it on with my finger instead of with a brush. And now using this gorgeous brush set by Sedona Lace, I'm going to apply my eyeshadow and the rest of my makeup. So using the Sonia Kashuk palette, it is so gorgeous because I love how all the colors are matte. I'm just going to apply a very um, light brown to the crease of my eyelid and also on the outer part. And we're just going to blend it all out. And then using a darker shade, this is like, I think one of the darkest browns that it has. I'm just gonna make sure that I concentrate on the outside of my lid. I'm taking my time to make sure that I blend it out evenly because you don't want it to be too, too dark. So with that same dark eyeshadow, I'm going to apply it under my eye and I'm going to use this instead of an eyeliner only because I just think it looks more natural and it's a lot prettier. And I'm using a very light shade and this is one of my favorite ones. I like to use this to highlight my brow bone and also just to blend out all the other colors together so there's no harsh lines with the eyeshadows. And then, I know this is weird, but I like to apply my mascara on before I apply my eyeliner, and then I like to go back with mascara. I know it's weird, but I don't know why I do it. I think it's just a habit now. So using one of my favorite eyeliners, this is a liquid eyeliner by L'Oreal, and it's called Telescopic. We are just going to do a winged eye, because I always like to do that with like a smoky eye, a subtle smoky eye. And then going back with a different mascara, this one is called They're Real by Benefit. I absolutely love this mascara. It's going to make sure that your eyelashes stay up all night. And we are done with our eyes, so let's move on with our face. So I'm just going to brush away all the fallout from the eyeshadows. So now it's time to conceal. And this is the best concealer ever because it is full coverage and that way you don't have to use much of foundation on the rest of your face. So I just like to dab it under my eyes and I like to pat it because the warmth of my finger is going to make sure that it goes really nicely underneath my eyes, around my nose and also in the dark spots like around my mouth. And now using a very light powdered foundation. I'm going to apply this to the rest of my face just to make sure that I'm not oily and I like to mostly concentrate underneath my eyes where I applied that concealer before just to make sure that it stays on there and that it's not going to crease or anything like that because we don't want any creasing under the eyes. And look how much I love this bronzer. I already hit pan on this. I'm almost out. But this one is by Rimmel and it is called Natural Bronzer. And I'm just going to apply this to the hollows of my cheek just to give me some definition in my cheeks and also just to make sure that I don't look so pale, especially like on my temples of my face. It's going to make your face look nice and chiseled and just give you a little bit more color without having to do this to your whole face. So I love this brush so much that I actually like to use it for my blush as well. So I like to spot clean it with this MAC brush cleanser and in a little napkin I just go ahead and clean it really quick and then I use it to apply my blush. And this is one of my favorite blushes at the moment, well at least for this month. It's called Dolce Vita by NARS and it's just a really really pretty um, blush that it's not shiny. It's not like the rest of the blushes that I usually wear. I think that's why I like it because it's more for like winter and the fall season. At first I thought I wanted a nude color but as you guys will see later on I switched to a much darker color and it is a Lovesick by Revlon. 
Okay, so we are all done with our makeup. Now let's move on to our hair. And I'm going to be using these two tools that I absolutely love. First is a hair dryer that I just love this hair dryer. It doesn't make my hair frizzy and my hair does not blow all over the place and it dries it very quickly. And I like to do it upside down only because it gives me more volume. So after that, we are going to apply a heat tamer. And this is another one of my favorite ones. I'll try. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and brush our heat tamer in just to make sure that it's nice and even. And then the first tip that I have for you guys uh, when it comes to doing curling your hair is to make sure that you do the back first. The reason for that is because then you're not going to have an uneven in the back and it's not going to look funny. And it's also going to give volume if you start at the root on the top. And I learned this a long time ago and I've been doing it ever since so the back of your hair does not look ugly or bad. And then I love this wand because it is so, so fast and it just makes your curls look really nice without taking too much time on them. So I'm just going to curl away from my face and I like to do one side at a time, just random pieces. front of the hair is probably the most important because that's the part that he's going to be looking at the whole night. What I'm going to do is put some heat tamer on and then just make sure that it's nice and even so there's no frizz in the front and then I like to take the hair and put it back going backwards on the curling wand and then you don't want it to stay on there for too long so you just want to make sure that you do it kind of quick and, and slowly take it off. we're gonna do the exact same thing just make sure that you slowly bring it down it's gonna give you like nice volume on front of your hair too when you shake it all out and now for our outfit I am wearing this gorgeous dress by SheInside.com it's so gorgeous I love the scalp being at the bottom and how it cinches your waist and also, I'm going to pair it with this gorgeous pink jacket. Of course, it's Valentine's Day. You have to wear some kind of pink. And this one is from Forever 21. And this was a gift from my love, Melanie. She also has a YouTube channel. I will link them down below as well. And I just love the details of the dress and the jacket. I love the gold tone on the jacket, like the little zipper. And now moving on to our shoes. I just went ahead with shoes that were a neutral color because I have so much color going on with the jacket already. And then I'm gonna match it up with this really cute crossbody bag by Forever 21. And I love this bag, it's so cute. And that completes our look. Now, as a present, I can't show you what I got my boyfriend because he already told me he was going to peek at this video and I told him not to, but he knows every year I give him a little box full of his favorite chocolates. So this one is just customized with whatever chocolates that he likes. And if you don't have a Valentine this year, don't worry because we will be your Valentine and we are going to be hosting a giveaway. So you can win all these amazing prizes and all the details on how to enter will be down below. So make sure that you read that for you to enter a chance to win these really, really cute products.